And uh, the question that well, I'll be posing to all six of you is just tell us a little bit about yourself, highlighting your professional and educational background, how long you've been a resident of Bismarck, uh, and, and give us an idea of your record of accomplishment in the field of public service. <coughs> you might be very accomplished in your profession, but what we're interested in, what have you done uh, as a public servant up to this point? What motivates you now to run for, for this office? So, Mr. Anthony, it up for you. Well, thank you, Wally, and is this on? Nope. Turn it on as we learned uh, at the last forum. So, thank you, Wally, and, and thanks to the Chamber and the Tribune and Bismarck State College and my fellow candidates for having us here tonight. And I'd be amiss if she's followed me to both forums now and whatnot. I'd be amiss if I didn't thank my wife. And my son doesn't know better, but eventually he'll get his thanks as well, or I'll get my payback, one or the other. So, uh, and I'll apologize at the front end. I've had a cold battle in cold the last three days. So if I get a frog in my throat on a difficult question, I'm really dodging it. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, to, to get to your real points, Wally, uh, my name is Josh Yasbik, and uh, I'm running for Bismarck City Commission to, uh, I have three main bullet points. The first is about promoting sustainable growth, and it's creating a quality of place that encourages innovation, entrepreneurship, and businesses to grow here, start here, thrive here, and, and move here. And uh, I promise you, Wally, I'll get to your question specifically. My, my background, uh, I'm a third generation North Dakotan. Uh, originally out of mine at North Dakota, I went to college, undergraduate at Dickinson State University, um, and from there I had the opportunity to move to Washington, D.C. and work for a couple of years on Capitol Hill in the United States Senate office for Senator uh, Kent Conrad, and uh, from there moved back uh, into North Dakota, and my wife and I, uh, after spending time uh, her on K Street working for Rudy Giuliani's firm, me on the Hill for two years and getting my master's degree in, uh, at, at George Washington University, decided to move back and start a family and, and uh, had an opportunity to go work for the organization I work for now, the North Dakota Education Association, and get into advocating, advocating for public education and educators and, and education policy in North Dakota, which is, is uh, what I've always wanted to do. Uh, I've been in Bismarck approximately uh, four years now. Uh, we bought our first home here. We, we had our first son here, hopefully someday, not right now, but we'll have more children here and uh, um, uh, continue to grow and, and build a family here. And my, my record of accomplishment in public service uh, stems all the way back to in, uh, when I was a, my interest in public service stems back to when I was a student, a junior student in high school. I attended the North Dakota, American Legion North Dakota Boys State Program, and I was lucky enough to spend a week at Boise State, learning about how our system of government works and how uh, the, the system of democracy and, and uh, our country and our state runs on works, and had the opportunity at the end of that week to be selected to be one of two participants in North Dakota to go to Boise Nation and got to then see it there. And, and from there, um, I was, as a student at Dickinson State University, appointed by uh, Governor John Hoban to be on the North Dakota State Board of Higher Ed, where I served as a student member for a year in a public policy working on different boards, was then later elected by my peers to serve student body president, where we made a number of decisions about student fees and different campus activities. And then last but not least, obviously, my service uh, in the United States Capitol, uh, working for uh, my old boss, uh, gave me great insight into how public policy works. And I now work as a government relations uh, specialist for the uh, NDA doing uh, doing different things there. So I've seen public policy on all levels. I've always had a passion for city government uh, and, and believe that's where you can really have uh, the most direct impact in improving people's lives. And so that's why I'm running and uh, I appreciate the time. Thank you, John. You can see it's a little hard to condense your life into a couple of minutes. It is, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris, do you uh, tackle the same area? Tackle the same, okay. Well, 